Hello guys, today we're going to be talking about the error that you see on the screen. So it has many relationships. If you delete the parent record, what should happen with children record? And in this video I will show you three ways how to deal with that situation. First, in Laravel validation, so how to process that error more gracefully. Second is in Laravel migrations, so process that on database level, in table structure or in foreign key structure. And finally, by using soft deletes and not actually deleting anything. So let's go. The situation. Demo project, partly based on our quick admin panel contact management module. And there is a company and there is a contact. And contact belongs to a company. So it is a has many relationship, one to many. And in the database, we have this contacts with company ID and company is just a simple table. No soft deletes. And deleting is happening in a simple way like this. Destroy method, permission check, and then deleting the company. No more conditions. And when we click the companies and delete, of course, we see that error. So first, let's take care of that in Laravel validation. So let's validate if the company has children of contacts, do not allow to delete that. And there are a few ways to do that, but probably the most straightforward is here in the destroy method. We can just add if statement, so if contact company contacts, which is has many relationship count, then we return back, back with errors. And then let's try to delete again, exactly what was expected, cannot delete, company has contact records. And that error, by the way, doesn't come automatically, it comes from our quick admin panel generated code in Blade. So like this. So if there are errors, we show them like this. So you would need to add that code, something like that in your blade files. So that's one way to prevent the deleting the parent. But maybe we should restrict it on the front end. So in this case, if we know that company has contact records, we shouldn't even show the delete button, right? And we can do that. But then in index, we need to load the company with the relationship, get and with contacts, right? And then in index blade, index blade, where we have delete button, delete form, we would need to check if company contacts count. And if like this, if not, if there's no contact, then we show the button. And I refresh the page and as you can see, no button. And to test it out, let's add another company with form filler Chrome extension. And new company has that button, which means they don't have any records. But with this method, I'm not entirely sure it's good because first thing, you still need to validate that on the back end because you cannot trust front end validation at any time. It's just for UX purposes. And other things, it adds quite a lot of performance issues. In controller, you have to load more relationships for all the records. And if it's just one record, it's cool. But if there are more records inside of that company, what if there are transactions, employees, documents, whatever, and you would have to check all of them while loading the table. And 99% of the users won't ever delete anything. So you are loading a lot of data for 1% of the customer. So instead of that, in my personal opinion, it's better to check on the deleting record just in here put the backend validation on the front end delete button can stay visible without any check okay so we've covered the first part how to gracefully handle the default behavior of restricting the deleting now what if we want to change that default behavior and how can we do that for that we need to check the mysql documentation i will talk about mysql database so check your database if you're working with something else but when creating foreign keys you can specify on delete action in migrations, we have something like this. So when creating foreign key here, we can add on delete statement. And on delete by default in MySQL is no action, which is the same as restrict. So there are options, basically there are three options. There are more, but the main ones actually used and actually logical are restrict, which is happening right now. So if we are deleting the parent, restrict comes from MySQL and shows that error that we've seen before. So that's a restrict. What we can do also is cascade, which means that all the parent records that are deleted will also delete the child records with them. So cascading. And third option is set null. 
which means that all the child records will get null in that field of foreign ID. And let's try both of them. So in migrations, we would add on delete cascade. And let's remigrate all the database, migrate fresh minus minus seed. Now let's remove the validation that we just added. So we don't need this anymore and we don't need index blade anymore. So delete that line and that line. And behind the scenes, I've added one company and one contact and let's click delete button. And remember we added cascade as a rule. No company and no contact. And if we check the database, refresh company, empty, contacts, empty. So the rule cascade will delete all the children entries. And because of that, you have to be really careful and tell that to the customer. So your message in index blade to delete should be not only are you sure. So we have that on submit, return, confirm. Are you sure that comes from the translations? But you should do something like something like that. So people would totally understand that they are deleting all the records, including child records. So that's cascade. Other option is set null. So if we change that to set null, see what happens. Let's reseed the data again. Again, I've added one company and one contact. And in the database, if we refresh the contacts, see field company ID equals one. And if we delete that company, click delete, no company, but there is a contact. So the contact, the child record stays, but without the company, if it is nullable, of course that field should be nullable. And if we refresh the table again, we would see that company ID is null. So to recap this part of the video, this section, we have three options how to deal with that parent deleting. Leave it with restrict, but then add the validation to show the error message properly, not MySQL. Or we can cascade, but then we need to notify the user that we actually we are actually deleting the child records. Or set null, then child records just leave hanging in the air and they're not attached to anything. Another popular way of dealing with all of that is soft deletes. And they are really easy to add in Laravel, so let's add them to our both tables. So I've added soft deletes in the migration of companies, of contacts, and then in both models we add use soft deletes and use soft deletes. That's it. Remigrate the database. And I've added again one contact for one company. And let's see what happens now if we click delete. No error. We have no company and contact. It's left without company. But now let's take a look at the database. Contact is here and company ID is still one. So it's not set to null, but the company doesn't exist anymore. So company is soft deleted, but the child record actually stays in the database. And you would think, why is it not set to null? Although we did set that to null in the context table in here, right? Because when using soft deletes, you are not actually deleting the record. You are not telling MySQL to delete the record. That's why foreign key rules are not applied. You are performing Laravel operation of making it soft deleted, but all the records stay in the database. So you could see that with soft deletes, set null is actually a default action. It's not literally setting that to null, but since parent record is soft deleted, it won't be found in the database by default. And if you want to change that behavior from set null to restrict or to cascade, with restrict is totally the same thing. You would just check in the delete here in the destroy method if there are any child records and then restrict that or hide the button if you want. So that's totally the same as the first part of the video. But now with cascade, it's different. It's not enough to add on delete cascade. That wouldn't work because as I said, it doesn't hit the database. For cascading of soft deletes, there are packages, specific Laravel packages. And I've written about that. I have an article on our quick admin panel blog about actually deleting the one to many relationships. And there is one point about cascading soft deletes and there is a package, which is really easy to use actually. You just require the package, specify what relationships to delete with the parent, and then it soft deletes all the children records as well. So it's performing cascade, but in a soft delete way. And there is another package, which I haven't tried, 
but it's the same but with polymorphic relationships. So if you know polymorphic relationships doesn't have actually relationships in the database. So on MySQL level you cannot delete that with cascade. So this package would help you. So this example, you have morphs many addresses in profile model and then you provide that you should cascade delete the addresses whenever profile is deleted. So to recap the soft deleted part of this video, by default soft deleted records work in a set null way. If you want to restrict the deleting part you need to add validation or if you want to cascade then there are two packages I've just showed you that can help you with that. Hope it was helpful. If you want me to continue shooting videos like this one you can support this channel by doing one of two things. Enroll in one of my courses on Teachable, the link is on the screen, or use our Laravel Quick Admin Panel Generator for Laravel Admin Panel, the link is also on the screen. And see you guys in other videos.